This video covers Learning Objective 4, Construct Financial Statements and Analyze the Relationships Among Them, in Chapter 1, The Financial Statements. This video is Part 3 of 4 videos for this learning objective. This video focuses on the balance sheet, so let's get started. There are four financial statements. The statements are prepared in the order of the income statement, the statement of retained earnings, the balance sheet, and finally the statement of cash flows. To follow, we will be walking through the basic construction of the balance sheet. The balance sheet answers the question of what is the company's financial position at the end of the period. We will see the balances of the assets the company owns and the balances of what it owes. Then we will see the company's equity. The balance sheet is the only statement that we cover that is uh, as of one particular date. It lists the balances of assets, liabilities, and equity accounts at the end of the period. The ending balance of retained earnings flows from the statement of retained earnings to the balance sheet. Here we are going to look at Facebook's balance sheet. Let's start at the top. The first title or heading line of the statement is the name of the company, its official name. The second title line will be the name of the statement. Here I have included the words adapted for classroom use because I have condensed this statement from the original to make it more understandable. Okay, then the date line is next. It tells us the date of the statement. It is important to note that the balance sheet is always as of one particular date. It is the balances on that date. The balance sheet is the only one of the four statements that we have that is as of one particular date. The other statements cover a period of time. We then see the column heading in millions. That means that six zeros have been left off the statements. This is done to enhance readability. I have divided the balance sheet into two slides, the assets on this slide and the liabilities and equity on the next slide. I am doing this so that you can see the numbers, otherwise there is just too much on the screen to see anything. Next we see the top row of the actual statement after the headings. The balance sheet will always start with assets, always. Current assets are first. Current assets are those assets that will be used up or converted to cash within one year or operating cycle. There is a particular order that the assets are listed in. First current assets and then long term assets. Current, listed, current assets are listed from most liquid to least liquid. By liquid we mean roughly closest to cash. Cash is always the first current asset. Many companies, like Facebook here, call their cash cash and cash equivalents. Next we see marketable securities and accounts receivable net. If Facebook had inventory, it would be listed in this section as well. The last current asset we see here is prepaid and other expenses. After totaling current assets, we move on to the long-term assets. Facebook has property and equipment net, intangible assets net, and other long-term assets. We will be talking about the meaning of net in later chapters. For now, just know that this figure is net of any account reductions. Finally, we arrive at total assets, which is the total of the current assets plus each of the long-term assets. Remember that the top number in a financial statement has a dollar sign in front of it, as do any later subtotals and the final total. Anytime a subtotal or total calculation is going to be made, you will see a single underline. That means that the numbers above are going to be added or subtracted. At the end of the assets on the balance sheet, Total assets will be double underlined to show that the assets are complete. Then we move on to liabilities and equity section of the balance sheet. The balance sheet continues with liabilities and stockholders equity. Remember that this slide is a continuation of the balance sheet, not a separate statement. The first section on the second part of the balance sheet is the liabilities section. We start with current liabilities, which are those debts that are due within a year or operating cycle. Liabilities are also arranged from most liquid, soonest due, to least liquid. Accounts payable is the first current liability, followed by other current liabilities. Next up, the long-term liabilities are each listed. Total liabilities are calculated by adding 
total current liabilities, and each of the long-term liabilities. Next up is the stockholder's equity section. Here is where common stock and retained earnings are, and possibly a lot of other accounts that we will learn about in later chapters. We see the ending balance of retained earnings flow from the statement of retained earnings to the balance sheet here. We total the stockholder equity accounts. Finally, we arrive at total liabilities and stockholders equity, which is the total of the liabilities plus the stockholders equity. At the end of this section on the balance sheet, total liabilities and total stockholders equity will be double underlined to show that the total is complete. Total liabilities and stockholders equity must equal total assets. In our case, it does. This is because the balance sheet represents the accounting equation, which is assets equal liabilities plus equity, which is exactly the format of the balance sheet. There we have it, the complete balance sheet. Now we have a few knowledge check questions coming up to test your understanding of this material. After I read each question, pause the video and try to answer it. Once you restart the video, I will be walking through the answer for that question. Let's go. The first question reads, choose all of the accounts that would be listed on the balance sheet. The choices are revenues, losses, assets, liabilities, expenses, stockholders' equity, and gains. Assets, liabilities, and stockholders' equity are the types of accounts that are on the balance sheet. Remember that the balance sheet is a representation of the accounting equation, which is assets equal liabilities plus equity. By the way, all of the other accounts listed here, including revenues, losses, expenses, and gains, are all found on the income statement. The second question asks, which statement is the only statement that is as of one date rather than for a period of time? Answer choices are income statement, statement of retained earnings, balance sheet, or statement of cash flows. The answer to which statement is the only statement that is as of one date is the balance sheet. The rest of the financial statements, including the income statement, statement of retained earnings, and statement of cash flows, all cover a period of time and have a date line that begins for period ending. That concludes our review of the balance sheet. Thanks for watching.